Hey, in this tutorial, we're gonna cover Unity URP. And we're gonna look at two different ways of setting up URP, the easy way and then the other easy way. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here I am in Unity. And now this is a built-in render pipeline project. Let's look at the easy way of setting up a URP project in Unity. First, let's go to the hub. So if you go to the new project, you can use one of the templates. Now, you can see that there's a lot of different options here. Several of those are including URP. So 2D URP, 3D URP. There is a 3D sample scene URP example. So there's several options where URP is already installed. Now again, what does that stand for? It stands for Universal Render Pipeline. And there's advantages of using URP and there's some disadvantages of using URP. One of the advantages is that URP allows you to have a scriptable render pipeline. That's what the RP is for. It allows you to be able to control what's happening with that render pipeline. Now, Universal Render Pipeline allows you to output to any type of device. It works from mobile to desktop to console and to VR as well. So that is the easiest way, is to start from a URP template. Now, if you have it, let's go ahead and go into Unity, and I have a project here that I did not create as a URP project. I started up with the built-in render pipeline. For me to be able to upgrade this project to a URP project, I will need to go to the package manager. And we wanna make sure that we're in the Unity registry. Once we're in there, if you just start type in universal, you can see that Universal RP comes up. So the next thing we need to do is just to go ahead and install. This might take a few minutes to install. Sweet, so now this is installed. Now that we have URP installed, we're not able to use it just yet. So the first thing we need to do is to, we need to create a new Universal Render Pipeline asset. So for us to be able to do that, you could create a settings folder. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and create a folder called settings. And then inside of that, I'm gonna go ahead and create and then at the very bottom of this list, scroll all the way down, you'll see that rendering is at the very bottom. And we've got a bunch of different options here. But what we're gonna do is to go ahead and create a URP asset with a universal renderer. So we'll go ahead and create that. It adds two files. It creates a universal render pipeline asset as well as a renderer. And then the next step is to go to edit, project settings, and then we need to actually use that asset. So if we go into our project settings, and then if we go into graphics, you can see that we've got this option right at the top, render pipeline settings. We're looking for a specific asset. And so we only have one asset that we just created, so we can go ahead and utilize that. And it's going to say, hey, you're making a change to the rendering system of Unity. So do you want to cancel that or do you want to continue? So we definitely want to use that. So let's go ahead and continue. Boom, so now we're using URP. Oh no, so we now have a problem. All of our materials in our game turned pink. So how do we fix that? Well, Unity provides a great way for you to be able to do that really quickly. So what I need to do is actually go to materials that are in the project to be able to update those to use the URP shader. So for me to be able to do that, I'm gonna go into the asset that I have all of my materials. This is the low poly ultimate pack. And if you open up materials, I'm gonna select all these materials. Once I have all of those selected, I could go to edit rendering Go to materials and convert selected built-in materials to URP. And it's saying, hey, you're gonna upgrade those materials, are you sure? And we're gonna go ahead and hit proceed. Boom, these are gonna turn to blue for just a sec while Unity's trying to recompile what the material or what the shader looks like. And then bam, now our project is back to the way it looks. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.